Hello, friends. Welcome back to the final episode of Democracy Now! or Democracy 3. Uh, Bernie Sanders versus Donald, De Donald J. Drumpf, TM. Uh, if you guys don't know what Drumpf is, you need to check out uh, John Oliver's Last Week Tonight. Yeah, Last Week Tonight? Yeah, episode. It was just freaking it was awesome. Uh, anywho... We are past Super Tuesday. Trump is leading massively on the Republican side. Hillary is leading on the Democratic side, mostly super delegates right now. Um, so it looks like, I don't know, our next president could actually be Donald J. Trump. So we are in the final year for Sanders here in our world. And we're gonna see, or final, yeah, we're gonna see what he ends up with popularity-wise. I guess that's the best way, and if he actually manages to survive. So right now he's at ninety-four percent popularity. Uh, his cabinet's still just supportive and fair. So eh. poverty is great, crime is getting better, unemployment's going down or worsening. <laughs> um, and let's go. The only thing that saves us from bureaucracy is its inefficiency. Probably true. All right. Hold on. I think. One moment. All right. So this is a little better. Uh, transport minister resigned. Homelessness is at an end. Sorry, that we actually were a little farther ahead than I thought we were. Uh, crime dropping. Flooding issue. Polls are optimistic. 96%. Uh, deficit of... 713 billion a quarter. Meh. Um, and we are currently doing okay. So let's let's uh, deal with the transport minister here. So that's nah, a little better. I was like, wait a minute, that's too many too many thing about jiggers. Uh, so transport got rehired. Ashley Johnson's our new one, and she's not bad. Why are you still hating us? Why you're extremely. If, I mean, effectiveness and experience is great, but why loyalty? Why why are you so unloyal to me? Trade unions and farmers. You would think I'd be doing freaking awesome stuff for trade unions and farmers. All right. So we've got a chance. Farmers are car taxes and food standards. Yeah, but I'm giving you all kinds of subsidies and stuff. You need, to, you need to have food standards? Come on. Oh, screw you. All right. Self-employed don't like us. That's okay. We're about socialism here. Really just don't like us. Um, yeah, well, I think, yeah. Um, corporate exodus does not... Uh, corporate, Corporations are just not liking all of our stuff. Maternity leave drives away corporate entities. What a bunch of poo-poos. Okay, so we've got uh, five turns left to spend points. So we've got zero right now. We have to go to the next turn. Healthy minds and bodies. All right. Never Awesome medical report. Okay, GDP is still dropping. Unemployment steady. Crime up. Poverty up. I think that may be improving. Okay, Julia Miller, she's whining. Flood damage from that flooding we had last time. DNA database. Okay, police chiefs are requesting that they be allowed to build up a global database of everyone's DNA to assist them in fighting crime. DNA evidence allows many previously unsolvable crimes to be tracked to the perpetrators. Hmm. He's really concerned about privacy. So let's see what the prevent it is. Fundamental breach for citizens' human rights. With it to maintain an individual presumption of innocence until proven guilty and building up a Big Brother style database of everyone makes us all feel like criminals. I don't think that he would go with that though. Is my feeling? I think that he would allow it because it would also. I mean, the DNA database by itself would also be helpful for medical reasons and other things. So I think that he would go this way. I think. Oh, drip slipped a little bit to ninety-two percent. Yeah, right. All right. So, what can we do for that last little 
bit of time that we've got here. Clean fuel, fuel efficiency standards help improve the atmosphere a little bit better. Uh, it will take two quarters to implement so we can get it in there. Um, satellite road pricing ban, low bound plan, eh, city, city, yeah. Gated community policemen. Propaganda, witness protection, public service, anything. This might be good. That might be a good thing. Um, won't cost us that much. Pretty fast to do it. Day schools. I think let's let's do that as a start. That's only going to take us twelve points. Let's implement that. That'll really help education, productivity, and cut back in the skill shortages. And it's not that expensive. I mean, five billion a quarter. Let's do that. And anything on the welfare side? Disability benefit? Not very popular with voters, though. Winter fuel subsidy is not very popular. Alcohol awareness not is eh. Uh, child benefit. I think that one might be good. Let's let's save it for that. So let's go to the next. Pollution has developed. What? How can pol? Oh, what the? What brought it up for a tiny little bit? It's gonna be over again in a second, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay. No. Safeguard oil supplies. Representatives from oil companies based on our country have requested that the government deploy troops overseas uh, to protect them from attack by terrorists. The government involved are happy with our troops to be stationed on their soil for this purpose. Uh, oh, how would he deal with this? Um... No, it's their company. It's their companies. They can hire their own private security forces. We're not going to be the private security forces for, uh, yeah. Let's let's not send the troops. Eight hundred twenty-six. Yeah, ninety-three percent. So we cut back up a tiny bit. Loyal and fair. Noise. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Um, adoption. Child benefit. Let's give holy moly, that's expensive. All right, let's go ahead. Um, and I have to respond to this text. Sorry, guys. Um, let's go ahead. 57. How much does that raise? 100 billion. We're, all, we're going out, on a, we're going out, right? We're going out. Let's go out big. Capitalists do not like it, but everybody else freaking loves the hell out of that child benefit. Let's do it. Um, we're crime for utopia. That's awesome. Um, anything else that we could do? Mm. Yeah, consumer rights. Let's do consumer rights. I think that would be automatic refunds, cooling off period. Uh, yeah, I think that, that leaving the word is, is good. It doesn't affect GDP much at all. Let's just do that. Yep. Did it apply? Yeah, it applied. Okay. Uh, and now let's go to the next quarter. Agrarian city society. Nice. That's our cities, I think. Immigration scandal. People doing low paid jobs without work permits? Oh no! Forms of immigration are outraged. Governments have been unable to control our borders. The unemployed are angry that foreigners are taking. They're taking our jobs! The media are writing strongly worded editorials about the government's immigration policy. Well, dang it. Racial tension is going up. Conservatives. Okay. 
Oof. 95%. Oh, yeah, it's going to go in good. All right. <coughs> um, well, capitalists hate the hell out of us. Look at us. Oh, my goodness. Capitalists hate us. Um, the poor is going down. Yay. 22 points. Let's see what we can do. Welfare wise, adoption incentives. Wait, hold on. Let's go back to the foreign policy. Language courses. Reduce racial tensions. Let's implement that. Free courses. Well, oh, yeah, free courses. Let's do it. Yes. All right. And two turns left. Oh my goodness, we're almost there. Coexistence is what? Why is coexistence? Oh, frick, we were all happy. Skill shortage at an edge. Pollution is now at an edge. We knew that was going to happen. Torture, deportation. What happened? What did it just do? I wanted to answer that. That was weird. Health still going up. GDP is going up. Awesome. 96% of everybody loves us. We're so lovable. We're the lovable uncle. Um, homelessness assistance for... Oh, yeah. Yes. Heck yes. Implement. Implement the hell out of that. So that kind of ties back into that question we had way early on about the homes that were open, uh, the second homes or the foreclosed on homes that people were just out there. And if you, if you could really bootstrap things properly, it could probably work out. But who knows if it would actually work out. And we are, we still have six, <laughs> yeah, my little, we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. That was a mistake from the very, very, very beginning What's that one? Known terrorist activity is going. Wow. It's going up. But crime's going down. Homelessness might help. We'll see. All right. So we are. This will be our last turn. Election, here's how it would happen. Look at that, look at that. 89% of the vote, retiring vote. So we ended up with 89% of the vote. We'll count it that way, I think we were at 95%. Awesome. So we brought health up by 73%, education by 24%, crime down by 70%, violent crime down by almost 3%, poverty down by 30%. Wow. The working week is cut in half. Holy moly. Immigration up, air travel up, energy efficiency up. Wow. High earnings is down a bit. Private housing is down, private health care is down, private schools are up, private pensions are up. GDP's up 50%. 50% up in GDP. Wages are up 28%. Known terrorism activity is up 41%. Ow. That's a little hurty hurt. That is not a bad... That's not bad at all. That's not bad. All right, so let's retire in glory. So that was Bernie Sanders in his final round as President of the United States of America. We're back with Trump. Bye for right now. All right, friends. Now we're back here with Trump in the final. Oh, God, a market meltdown. Great. And another fellow assassination. Anyway, this is Trump in his final year. Hopefully 69%. He's not doing quite as well right now. The people aren't liking him quite as much. Global recession. His deficit isn't as bad right now either though market meltdown uh overseas mortgage market eh. 
Not good. Another assassination attempt. Eh, screw them. And our cabinet is loyal. Excellent. All right. So here we go. The last five turns. We have nothing, so we're going to go to the next round. Woo! Another assassination attempt. My God. Every single turn, someone tries to kill him. Poverty is worsening. GDP is improving. Unemployment is improving. Health is improving. Chemical plant explosion. Yay. All right. Um, 300 billion. 76. Okay, we got better. It got better. It got better. Good, good, good. Okay. It's 23 points. What do we want to try and go out with? A strong, we want strong national patriotic defense to be our final buzzword, I think. What's this coexistence? We have coexistence happening? How can that be? <laughs> How can that be? I sometimes think that the freaking between the game, it blurs a bit. All right, let's take a look at our foreign policy, dead hand. <laughs> that would be awesome. Tourism. Um, green. Ooh, trade union restrictions. That would be something I think that he would be for. Okay, let's save up points and grab that. Another one. Oh my god. It's just <laughs> it's just nonstop. Alright, so let's go ahead and get our Where was it? Where was that? Interest rate. Um tourism. Trade union restrictions, yes. That's gonna be really good for business, so Let's go ahead and implement that. Companies discretion, total ban on trade unions. Oh. How about right the rate max right there for companies discretion? Beautiful. I like it. I like it like that. And then we've got youth clubs. Teach first. Who's teaching? I think he would be okay with that. Or selective schools. Yeah, let's do that. I think I think probably pro that. It's cheap, so it's gonna really help out those. So yeah, I like it. Next turn. Don't get assassinated, Trump. Don't get assassinated. A pandemic. What? I'm just assuming across a couple of our neighboring countries. Well, it's a good thing we're keeping them out. Another assassination. 81%. Hey, we're closing in. We, I think we ended at 95% for uh, Sanders. So, $200 billion deficit. 22 points. What else can we do before? We only have two quarters left. So, we got to try and do things that have you know maximum impact. What is CPM? <gasps> ah, that's exactly what we need. We need that for that pandemic. It's only one quarter implementation time. That may help the... Uh... That'll improve health. Yeah. Do that. Do that thing. Two quarter... Okay, environmentalists, screw them. Liberals, screw the... Wow, we're really... <laughs> they do not like that. Wow, look at all that stuff. But... Capitalists, love us. Look at all that great stuff for capitalists. Um, middle income. Kind of holding even, even. State employees like it. Military spending. Is there anything else we can do there? No, we're already overwhelming. Border controls... I really think that there's not a lot else that we could probably do. Do 
Did we ever tax gambling? Did we ever tax it? It might be law and order. We would have legalized prostitution. That would have been that would have been funny. We did not do that. Hmm. All right. Well, this is the last turn where we can do anything. And he wants to. Okay. Hopefully, our. Oof. See that helps. See that immediately. See that brought it down immediately. So hopefully that will help us out. Even though we're in the last year office, eh? Screw them. Sixty. Oh, that. that oh, we dropped precipitously there. Darn it! Darn it, Mister Trump. Health drop. Okay, what does he want? Environmental and capitalist. Well, environmental. Screw them. God gave us the environment. Gave us the earth. It's ours. Okay. Uh, what is our last? Our last act in office was twenty nine points. What's the most screw you tax we could do? I, I personally, I'm in favor of this. Um, I'm in favor of that. I feel kind of bad that I get away with buying so much online. Mansion tax? No way. Not going to fly in my in my uh, government. Mm -mm. Recreational drugs. Flat income tax. Oh, I should have done that long back. Oh, that's one of those things that I bet would have been good. Oh, 43%. Whoa. Whoa. That would have been good to get. Hmm. Endra? No. National Anthem? else can we do what else could we have done oh man social justice so basically it's propaganda <laughs> oh I could see this I could see him doing that let's go ahead and do that Womp. maximum let's let's you know lots of things in this last little bit here what else um, eight. Why would you do that? Why would you tax graduates? That doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, we could. Oh, we could. Last act. The last act. Of Trump in office legalizing prostitution. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yes. <laughs> I would think that would be hilarious if he actually did that. <laughs> that would be awesome. All right, guys. That is it. Let's see. Election results. I think we had 89%. Ooh, the opposition is getting... A decent chunk. The non-voters. So, all right, let's look at let's look at the uh, changes. Health has gone down. Education's gone up. Crimes, wow, crime is done. <laughs> Violent crime is about the same reduction. I think it was two nine three for Sanders. Poverty's actually gone down, which I'm surprised. Equality's gone down. Um, environment's gone down. Working week's actually gone down slightly as well. Interesting. Technology's gone up. Car usage is up. Rail usage is up. Bus usage is up. Productivity's actually lower. Huh. Oh, it was going good for a long time. Oh, 
the pandemic. Oh, man. Otherwise, it would have been an up. Okay. Unemployment. Because we're making them work. CO2 emissions up. Immigration down. Yes, keep them foreigners out. Um, racial tension improved. <laughs> wow. Oil supply went down. Foreign relations went down. International trade went down. Wow, hugely. See, poor got better. Learning. There we go. GDP went up. Private health care went up. Good. Private housing went up. Private schools went up. Private pensions went up. Tobacco use went, went down. Alcohol went down. Wages. Eh, you gotta say, it actually was better than I was gonna anticipate. See, known terrorist activity is still up. How? We're pumping so much into that. Purchasing power. See, people are better off. It's good. All right. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for joining me in this very interesting little experiment, Sanders v. Trump. And surprisingly, Sanders ended up with a higher uh, final popularity number. Um, we have to go through and compare all the numbers individually again to see how people did on one-to-one, -one, but ain't got time for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like. Tell your friends, your family, your grandma. Tell me what you thought was the most interesting outcome. And I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.